Hello everyone and welcome to bar 2 and we will continue from where we left off in last week in creating this kind of effect I hope you will enjoy it and I will leave the download link below in the description so let's get started we will continue uh, to finish the effects and um, we'll optimize and um, do finance uh, the overall look of the effect and we'll just try to make it just a little bit more appealing um, and um, more cute to look at okay so um, last time um, we we're creating this and we when we press G on the keyboard um, it reassemble and and when we press G, it disintegrates uh, uh, um, to the ground. And um, last time, just uh, I have uh, committed a mistake that um, when I tried to hide the character, just um, I made the actor just hidden in the in the level or um, during the gameplay, and which uh, is not correct because you see the character it's it doesn't look uh, just. Um, I mean, it's a look good. So why is that? Because um, when we have the um, the Negra system, because as we remember, it tries to read the data from the character. And when we hide the actor during the gameplay, so it doesn't know where, uh, where, where, where is the mesh and um, it doesn't have any data or for the um, here it's giving us just only the first frame and so it, it will show as being uh, static um, and it's not moving so it's not getting updated so instead of just making it hidden um, during gameplay so I will pick the uh, the mesh and here when we'll search for just hidden, so I will stop just the gameplay. Hidden in game, I will just untick this and it will show the character and and immediately it will look just a little bit better, you see? Because now the the particles or the the spheres they are I mean following the the actual animated mesh. Okay, so now we will try just um, to hide, we'll, now we will we will hide the character and we will try to make the the effect just uh, um, a little bit uh, better. Okay, so um, first we'll go to the folder. We'll create uh, materials here, and I will create a new material, and I will call this um, invisible character. Okay. Just go inside the character here, and I will just make it um, search for the trans. I will make it tran not opaque, translucent, and I will uh, make the opacity just to be just zero. Okay, and I will go back again to the our character here, and I will replace the material here. Um, invisible material and I will assign it to the other one okay and we have all of our particles here so I will start to play so the character now it's not visible and we are saying only uh, we we, uh, we we can have only our particles visible here. Okay, nice. Okay, what we're going to do next is to... Um, I will, because, you know, uh, I have been experimenting with uh, um, the blueprint and uh, I will just um, give you, I mean, the final results that, uh, or the settings that uh, uh, just worked for me. So the first thing I, I have done here I, I will, um, I mean, um, scale the character. So this is the root of the the blueprint, and I will miss uh, make this just only one point five, okay, for everything. 
this will make the character just bigger see and now um, I will because here also in the blueprint I reorganized everything just to look just great um, Uh, I will scale the the particles and I will give them just random random scale, random colors, random uh, mid movements. So now when 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 everything is um, having the same settings, so it doesn't look that better or uh, good looking. But uh, if you have I mean variants and variations in your I mean character or in the world, so uh, it will be more uh, interesting. So I will try with um, scaling the um, um, set relative scale 3D that we, we have done. And I will have this and I will multiply. And we have our old number. It's 1.1, 1 .1, uh, 1 .1, and we'll change this into floats. And this floats now, I will make it in a random uh, Random float and range, and I will try three. And also, I will change the sphere to the um, search for editor editor sphere. They are very small. Um, I will increase those. Yes. Okay. So immediately you will notice the difference. So now um, the character it looks now way better than before, and. Um, when we have those um, variations in our character, it will be uh, it will look more appealing to us. Okay, so then I will uh, will work now on the effect itself on the um, attraction force, and we'll come back later and to complete. I mean, playing with uh, the materials. Let's say let's go ahead, and we'll. Just go here um, to the bottom, and here before this indemping, it was just zero, but I changed this to one. We want always to have this uh, this um, um, damping force. It will just uh, stop the particles to behave just crazy. Okay, and here when we said that the distance when it is uh, less than 10 you will just make I mean um, set this in damping to 15 when it is just false and uh, when they are far away set linear damping to 0 um, point 0.1 but also this one I want to make it I mean um, to be in a range and here I will just select random float and range again and the max or the mean the min value it will be one and the max it will be the in damping force which is 15 okay and we will I mean, work together or they will attract it to each other and the damping force it will make it um, uh, make it settle nicely and also the variations they will look good see now I'm, I'm you see remember just I'm moving the character but it's invisible so when see it integrates to see and uh, now uh, it's noticeable that you can notice the the leg the hands uh, as if it's running but we'll make it or push it forward uh, and we'll make it look nicer okay 
So we have done with the um, um, this is linear damping, and now um, I experimented or I I had a lot of uh, I mean tests and I tried a lot of settings. One thing it worked for me that helped the character uh, the, the the particles um, to fit I mean to um, to stick to or to follow the the character. Using the um, the lerp um, Victor lerp uh, function, it helped me to achieve this. The the lerp um, function um, feed two locations, location A and location B. And let let me grab the um, lerp. We have so many lerps: floats, rotator, and we have the Victor lerp. You will give it. I mean. Location A and location B. The location A it will be the location of the um, uh, the particles, and the location B it will be the location of the uh, the spheres. And we will lerp. Lerp it means that when it's zero, it will select this location. If it is one, it will select um, the location of uh, location B. If it's um, 0.5, um, it will select the location in between. Okay. So now um, we'll get the um, the location of the, the, the from the Niagara system. It will be location B, and the location A will get it from the static mesh component. We'll get world get world location, and we'll feed it to the A. And what about the alpha? The alpha will use the distance, and the distance um, because it's a float. And it will be, uh, I will remember it. And float range clamped. We will feed it to the alpha. And the, um, the value, uh, it's from zero to, let's say, 500. And it will be from zero to one. And where, okay. What, what, what we are going to do with the, the lerp? Um, we will set the location of the static mesh components in the world. Okay, so set world location and we will try this. If we play, see, we will be attracted to the character and see now they are will make the character it looks I mean the legs the hands the the head um, it's more noticeable um, than before see it's better but uh, only one issue we have here um, if I press G you see they will not f um, fall uh, down to the ground because now um, if I use this it's still always it's setting the world location but we want to stop this using um, the attracted this uh, boolean. We'll take attracted boolean here, and it will branch. And if it's attracted, go and set the world location. If it's not attracted, don't do anything for the moment. See now everything is fall down on the ground. When I press G, it's reassemble. G. They fall down on the ground. Nice and neat. Okay. But you see here, um, the the motion of the particles, they are very fast. See, like when maybe in less than a second, they assemble. Um, and there is another trick we can use. It's the using the sweep. Sweep boolean. If I take this sweep boolean and I play, press G. The particles, they will okay move and um, in a trail. But uh, there is an issue with this one because the character it will be um, bouncy again. So if I disable the sweep and I play, see, it's firm and rigid. 
it's not bouncy anymore. Uh, it's a little bit, but you, you see, when we play with um, settings and we try different things, and uh, you can have I mean different results, okay. But now we we want um, we have I mean um, a little trick here uh, where we will switch the sweep boolean on and off, okay. And we'll say that if the distance from here, if it's greater than 50, okay, greater than 50, if it's greater than 50, um, um, we, we will use the sweep when the when the spheres they are far away from the character. Okay, we want uh, want them meant to to move in a trail and to um, uh, reshape the character. If they are, I mean, less than this uh, uh, value um, or this amount, don't I mean, uh, uh, don't sweep. Okay. So, but first of first of uh, first, we need to promote the sweep into um, a variable. Promote to variable, and it will be sweep. Then we will set the sweep. I mean, we will duplicate this. We'll connect it to the, um, the set world location. And so, well, here it's true, here it's false, and here it's 50. And we'll try this again. See, it's rigid. nice and neat so if we come here so um it's your um it's your own decision and um, you can play with the settings as you said and you can um decide if you want it to make it i mean more rigid or more flexible so i can try different uh, settings so if i just go jump here we have this nice effect now we'll play with the materials okay so we want different materials to be applied to the spheres. So uh, what we're going to do, we'll make um, a material. And I created here uh, two materials, but I will uh, create, it, create new material from uh, from scratch. We'll have it another score. So we'll make it um, monster, monster particle tutorial, and they will. Open the material here, and I will have uh, a new. I will I will press V and click, and it will give give me a vector parameter, and we'll name it color. I will connect it to base color, and I want the MSF color here. I will multiply, connect, um, and I will have a scalar scalar uh, parameter. I will press one. And click here on the will give me this, and they will convert it to uh, convert to parameter, and they will name this um, emission. Connect it to multiply, and um, okay, that's it. And here um, I will create just a um, good material instance. From the same material, we have emission and color, and make it, for instance, blue and emissive. This one, I will go back to my my character here. When we set material, um, we can um, set the material for the uh, um, what we name it uh, was uh, um, monster monster tutorial uh, instance. This one, they okay. they are all the massive, nice. And now I want to create more variations, I mean more materials, so uh, many materials and a number of materials and uh, a, num a different um, uh, emis emission and colors uh, color colors values. Um, so from here, I will um, take the branch of the uh, static mesh component, 
and we'll create um, dynamic material instance. Okay. Um, I will just uh, ch will show you how we can have different materials here and the source material. Um, yes, it will be the monster. Okay. And after this, uh, after we created the dynamic material instance, we will set the the value here. We um, excuse me, this is not the our material. Um, we need this. Um, we have the vector parameter, the color, and the emission, and we can um, set them from the um, from the from the blueprint. Okay, and I will grab just set. Um, Victor parameter. Victor parameter. Connected to here. You see, we this doesn't have any effect for the moment, and we'll check the name. It's the name of um, its color. And from here, we we can grab the select utility. And we'll select different colors, blue, and say green. Um, okay, from here for the, for the index, here we'll say it's random, random, random integer, and the max it will be here. It's one. This is zero and one, and we'll try this. See, it's not working. Um, it just checks us just the. Uh, it's color. Um. Okay. And save. Yeah, it's working. But why do we have Now it's working. Okay. Now uh, this is for the the colors of the material. Material, but what about the the emission? What about the emission? We have another uh, parameter that is named. Um, if we just remember, just give it, bring it to here. Uh, we have emission and we have color, and I will set. Um, it's color, it's color parameter value, and I can just offer this one, and it's emission, I just copy and paste, and the same thing here, we can have random float in range, uh, mean value, it will be, maybe it's zero, and we will have 1.5. So we have now different uh, emissions, but now maybe we, we we want I mean to have um, the majority of the spheres uh, to be non-emissive and some of them to be just emissive. Um, I will change the um, the color here. Um, okay, we we will check here. Um, so we go back, and because here in the for uh, for loop we have the index color, uh, the index um, numbers. Uh, sorry, um, I can promote this to variable in order to use it there. Uh, I can connect it, connect it here to here, but you know it will make things messy. 
So I can grab the index and I will uh, say if, if the index is greater um, than a value, do something. Do something. So um, here, if it's um, because we have here um, like 200 spheres. So if the number is um, greater than 150, just set a material. But if it is false, do this and go ahead. Okay. Let me be here, just uh, the reverse. Say, Yeah. Um, yes, because um, we have our material. It's already it's uh, it's it's a missive, so we can just zero this, and we play again. So part of our particles they are uh, emissive, and the majority they are non-emissive. But uh, I'd like change the color here. Um, be just kind of orange color. So I think, um, that's it, but uh, as I said before, you can just play around with uh, your settings and try different um, uh, values. And um, I wish you all the luck and thank you for watching.